how much does a Gambrel garage, two car, 24 by 24, cost in the year 2021? $36,500. If you want to watch the whole video, you can see what that includes. So it starts out where we're pouring, or we'll set up the forms. We'll use, uh, in this particular one, we did um, uh, two inches of foam insulation. So that meant we needed thicker or uh, taller uh, form boards. So we went with uh, two by eights. We lined it all with uh, the foam insulation. Then we went, put rebar down, tied it all off in a two foot mat, two feet going both ways. Then we build it up with, uh, typically we break up a cinder block or something, and we put that under the rebar to get it up, spaced up so that it's in the middle of the concrete. That's where the most strength would be. So then after that, we will pour concrete, typically a 3,000 pound mix. On a slab like this, it's going to have about 11 yards of concrete, uh, 11 and a half. Sometimes there's variation in the ground, so we have to add a little bit extra. Um, then we'll take a bull float, power screed, power trowel. This is what we're using now is the power trowel um, to get that all smoothed up nice and smooth. Then we move on to the next step. You can see here, this is a, a little bit different installation. It has a four foot frost wall all the way down because we're dealing with potential water coming off the bank uh, up there on their lawn. It's not really a bank, but um, we went with the frost wall. That way we know that it's uh, well secured in that way. So here we're putting up the walls, uh, two by six walls. Uh, that was an extra option that we'll add on. I'll be showing a video on that later on. Um, as far as how much certain options cost. Uh, might be two by six walls or dormers or something like that. So I'll go over that in another video. After all the walls are up, then we plumb everything and then we'll snap lines. Uh, but th basically we build it on the principle of square. If we know the concrete is flat all the way around, which it is, we've checked that. Uh, and it's square, the building is square. If you, when we use the OSB wall sheathing, we square it with that, but we, we verify it with a level. You can see this stud is, is really tipping that way. We'll straighten that all up when we get to it. And we're still putting walls up. Again, uh, so we, these, this particular garage has some really big picture windows that'll work great for uh, an art studio. So they can sit right up and have natural lighting there. Uh, garage door header. This particular garage only had one door. Uh, it's going to have an art studio uh, downstairs, which would be really cool. The OSB, we use two inch ring shanked galvanized nails. Here we go, wall sheathing. On all of, of the sheathing. Um, that works really well. It doesn't rust, so that works good. I think we'll listen to Ken again for a minute. Give me another sheet. Put these rim boards up. The eye joists are 14 inches high and the top and bottom web is uh, three and a half inches wide. That ladder hoist really saves a, a lot of effort in putting those up. One at a time. Be on this side of the uh, joint. We're putting uh, the walls up upstairs now. It's a full eight foot wall. We'll do that all the way down both sides. It's fun, this really goes up pretty quickly. 
So this vertical wall, we set in four feet to the outside of this wall so that uh, when we put the rafter up, it gives us a 67 and a half degree slope on the rafter, which is kind of the opposite of what the upper roof will be at 22 and a half. So we nail into each rafter. He's gonna hand those up to you, Joe. Not just lean them. Now we'll put the rafter up. We'll do the, the one down on that end. Then we'll come and do the one on this end. Then we'll plumb this wall in or out as needed. So in the middle here, we, we just want to have an inch and a half because that's what it is on each end with a string. So I'm just measuring the string helps if you keep your arm off the string <laughs> right there I'll just make a mark so I know right where it is there perfect okay so now we have both ends and the middle straight the string is an inch and a half all the way down through so we'll lay down we'll put the rest of the rafters on we won't put much pressure on them until they are actually ready to be secured so that we don't bow this wall at all. So now we need rafters. Okay, we'll go and nail off the tops. Then that side is done and ready for plywood. More walls going up and then you can see uh, the gable end wall on the back. Uh, those are pretty heavy to pull up onto the from uh, down on the trailer. We, we had to muscle this one around quite a bit but we got it uh, just strength and So we get those up and then uh, we're going to go, yeah, we get those up um, all braced off. We decided to sheathe this from the outside. It was just easier to do that. So fast nailing, that's incredible. We're really hoping this year that we won't be waiting on materials as much. Um, I think we're going, at least initially, the first part of the season, we have enough, pretty much enough prospective jobs where I can get the materials ordered well in advance and not end up waiting. We ended up like at three different jobs through the year. We'd start this and then we're waiting so we'd go start another job or finish another aspect of a job um, and then go back to the other one. It's really counterproductive a lot of the time. Um, so we're, we're hoping for a better year this year.
All right, so we're getting ready to finalize the uh, dry it in. We'll get the the roof wrap on. They're getting ready to put OSB on the backside to finish that all up. Then we've got it closed in, and it's such a beautiful day today. Nice fall day. All right, this is the final uh, episode on this particular garage, 24 by 24. You can see that's one car, and then uh, on the other side is nice windows, both sides. That's a lot of light in there. We didn't quite get all of our garages done before snow flies, but that's all right. Hopefully it warms up just, it's, uh, I think it's 30 degrees right now. Hopefully it warms up a little bit little bit and we'll have a, a snowball fight a little later so we've been waiting on siding for 10 weeks it finally came that's two and a half months but it's here we're going to put it on it should look beautiful It looks right on. <laughs> That's French for I'm all done. So check this out. Right here is like the thickest part of the snow. When that snow comes off, it hits that flare out and it shoots it out here so that you don't get any as much. Eventually you'll get snow coming back when it gets midwinter or early winter depends depends on when uh, winter hits. Turned out to be such a beautiful fall day. I love it. We are done. It's uh, again a 24 by 24 one car garage with a art studio on the left. Um, those windows are positioned so at a at a nice work table, they can sit there and do art. I am not, not an artist uh, by any means. Let's take a walk around. There we go. Let's go inside. All right, so we are ready to go take a look inside. It'll just be a quick walk through downstairs and upstairs. Let's go knock on the door. Hey, anybody there? Hello, hey, good to see you. Here we are, 24 by 24. These are 14 inch NI80 uh, floor joists. They're a clear span. They're rate, that's what it's rated for. 24 foot span. If you go larger than that, you get a bigger, deeper uh, eye joist. <sighs> I love these windows. 
nine by seven insulated steel door. This is where the uh, uh, workbench will be for the art studio. So you can sit here. I don't know. I guess it'll be on a stool or something. If it was me, I'd be doing stick figures because that's all I can do. So uh, let's, let's go upstairs. 36 inch wide stairway. The homeowner is going to put a deck on out here. So we've just left it as is. Uh, we have 16 feet in width. It's an eight foot ceiling, 24 feet deep. And again, those nice windows. I think they're talking about doing a sewing room up here. They're going to insulate it, finish it all off uh, at, at their speed. And we're going to get out of their hair and leave them alone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.